The chair recognizes Mr. Jones, North Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I had the honor and privilege of visiting the wounded warriors at Bethesda Naval Hospital. Each one of the young men I saw, the oldest being 23, is very special, as are all of our men and women in uniform. The medical staff at both Bethesda and Walter Reed is truly amazing. They have done a wonderful job repairing the broken bodies and spirits of our young service members. The number of wounded warriors returning from war has become more prevalent with the increased use of IEDs by the enemy. More and more of our young men and women are returning without their arms and legs. Tonight, Mr. Speaker, as a constant reminder of the pain of war, I show you this picture of a young triple amputee and his wife. This man gave his body for this country and will struggle for the rest of his life. How many more will have to return home in this condition? This young man and his wife have just returned from the hospital. He is in a wheelchair. He lost an arm and two legs, and he's looking at, at a beautiful American flag that was on the wall that had been drawn for him. It is time we declare victory and get our troops out of Afghanistan. It is evident that President Karzai does not appreciate our commitment. If he did, he would not be so corrupt. If he did, he would not have made the comments that he now has three main enemies, the Taliban, the United States, and the international community, as stated in the Washington Post on December the 13th. He said that if he had to choose sides today, he would choose the Taliban. The Taliban are killing American servicemen and women. Mr. Speaker, I've joined Dennis Kucinich as well as many other members of both parties in the hope that President Obama will keep his promise to start withdrawing our troops in July of this year. In closing, I would like to urge the American people to get engaged in this cause and to let their members of Congress know how they feel. They must encourage the members of Congress to vote to bring our troops home. The pain must end and we can easily declare victory and bring our brave men and women home. Mr. Speaker, as I do all the time on the floor of the House when I speak, I ask God to please bless our men and women in uniform, to bless the families of our men and women in uniform, to ask God in his loving arms to hold the families who have given a child dying for freedom in Afghanistan and Iraq. I ask God to please bless the House and Senate that we will do what is right for the American people. I ask God to give strength, wisdom, and courage to President Obama that he will do what is right for the American people. And three times I will ask God, please, God, please, God, please continue to bless America. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The chair recognizes Ms. Woolsey of California.